The following video will guide you through the basic steps for installing your Beko washing machine. If you need assistance with any of this, please consult a competent professional or our customer service department for advice. When the appliance is delivered, it will have a plastic wrap and polystyrene blocks around the edges, which all need to be removed. There's also a polystyrene block under the front of the appliance. To remove, tilt the appliance back. Take hold of the band, which is taped to the front of the cabinet, and pull in the direction shown. The block will release and can be disposed of. Your appliance will come with the following parts. Mains water inlet hose, drain hose bracket, plastic transportation bolt covers, and some models may also include a liquid detergent cup. We suggest that you read the entire operation manual and any accompanying information before the appliance is put into use. Looking at the front of the appliance, you'll find the control panel, a program selector dial, loading door, detergent drawer, and a drain pump filter cap. Looking at the rear of the appliance, you'll find the mains cable and plug, drain hose, and the connection point for the incoming water. There will also be up to five transportation bolts which hold the tub securely in place during transportation. These must be removed before the appliance is put into use or the product will be damaged and the guarantee will be void. Use an appropriate tool to loosen the bolts, then pull the bolt heads towards you and in a side-to-side -side direction to release. The plastic transportation covers are then placed over the holes. The bolts should be kept and refitted to the appliance if it's moved at a later date. The product should be installed on a solid floor and not placed on carpet or other similar surfaces as this may cause overheating. The power supply, drain point and the mains water supply should also be within easy reach. The appliance should not be installed in an environment where there's a risk of freezing. The mains water inlet hose has a right-angled connector at one end and a straight connection on the other. The right-angled connector should be connected to the water valve on the rear of the appliance and only needs to be hand-tight. Before making this connection, please ensure that there is a rubber seal in each end of the hose to prevent the hose joint from leaking. Beko appliances operate using cold water only. If your previous appliance used both hot and cold water, the hot should be turned off. If hot water is used, it may damage your laundry and cause the appliance to malfunction. The straight end of the hose should be connected to the tap. Again, hand-tight pressure should be enough to make a good seal. Once connected, open the tap fully and check for leaks. The drain hose should be connected to the waste pipe. If you're using a sink trap under a basin for the first time, you must ensure that the spigot plug and, if fitted, the blanking cap has been removed. On some sink traps, the spigot may need to be cut. This will ensure that the wastewater can travel freely into the drain. The spigot itself should be pointing in an upwards direction and the hose secured to it. If using a standpipe, the highest point of the drain hose must be between 40 and 100 centimeters from the floor. Insert the hose to a length of 15 centimeters from the bracket end. When connecting the drain hose to the standpipe, it must be secured using the supplied bracket. To ensure that the appliance operates quietly and without vibration, it must stand level and firmly on all four feet. To achieve this, adjust the feet as required, then tighten the locking nuts to secure. If used, the liquid detergent cup can then be placed inside the main wash compartment of the detergent drawer. The three-pin plug should be pushed into the power socket and the power switched on. Finally, run a short rinse program to ensure that the water fills and drains from the appliance. If you encounter problems with this, check that the hoses have not become kinked or twisted behind the washing machine. This is also a good time to recheck for evidence of any leakage. If you have any questions regarding this installation, please feel free to contact our customer service team with the model and serial number of the product and they will be happy to assist.